Hey, so at the end of this video, I need everybody to like, subscribe, and comment. Hey, I appreciate each and every one of you. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Hey, I'm just out here hanging out, you know, at the pool right now, Friday morning. Hopefully, everybody Friday is going to be enjoyable, and I know mine's is for sure. Hey, so check this out. On Monday at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time, I will be hosting a live free webinar covering freight brokering and freight dispatch and showing you guys how to maximize your profit, whether you want to go form a freight dispatching company, start a freight brokerage, or if you guys are owner operators out there looking to learn how to dispatch yourself so you can maximize your profit out there. So click the link below. I got, uh, I believe it's like 100 available spots. So the first 100 people that sign up will be guaranteed a spot. Um, like I say, it's at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time on Monday, the 24th. Uh, hey, go click the link below, man. Go sign up for this live free webinar, man. I'm going to be putting out some good information. It's going to last for about an hour, hour and a half. And hopefully uh, when you come in, you might not know a whole lot. But going out of that live free webinar, you're definitely going to learn a lot from me within that hour, hour and a half. Trust me. So uh, like I always tell you guys, if you just started a trucking company and you're looking for a low board, Hey, click the link below. Go get 30-day free trial with DAT. Also, if you are still looking for a factoring company, hey, click the link below. Go sign up with TAS, Trans Am Financial Factoring Services. That's who I go through for factoring. Hey, let's roll off into some good content. Hey, so let's get off into some good content today. So check this out. I get a lot of emails and I get a lot of phone calls and text messages from uh, truckers that's already out here trucking that have their own truck and their trailer own authority or whether they're leased onto a company or whatever it is, I get emails, phone calls, text messages basically saying, please help. Uh, I am basically failing. Either I'm breaking uh, even at the end of the week or I am in the negative. So uh, I have a conversation with these guys just to see like, what are you really doing out here? And this is what I'm getting from a lot of people out here uh, First off, they're running loads for cheap. You know, they're running loads from anywhere from a dollar to a dollar fifty a mile. They're paying uh, additional fees, whether it's they're paying a dispatching company, whether they're paying uh, a company to lease on to, or whatever it is. Like I say, you pay the dispatchers and you actually pay people to lease on to the company for convenience, you know. But you have to know how to do everything yourself. And that's why I tell you guys, learn as much as you can on your, so that you could do stuff on your own. But when you don't have the time, then you pay for convenience. Then you go pay a dispatcher, uh, a dispatching company, or you go pay that company to lease on to. Like I say, it's only going to be for convenience. So what uh, I've, I basically came to the conclusion that truckers are running loads for too cheap of freight. Uh, their commercial insurance is extremely too high. You guys have to keep your MVR clean. Your MVR is just like your credit score. Once you mess it up, it's very hard for you to come back. And with a messed up MVR, that means your premium, you know, pretty much skyrockets out here when it comes to commercial insurance. And like I tell you guys, commercial insurance is not cheap. Also for you guys out there when it comes to having that clean uh I mean, having an MVR with uh, violations on it. Hey, you guys might uh, not be able to go get an actual trucking job. And this is for you guys out there who hold a class A CDL that are looking to uh, be a company driver just to gain that experience before you go out and go uh, start your own company. So like I say, your MVR is like your uh, credit score. Once you mess it up, it is hard to come back. So keep your MVR clean, stop hauling loads out there for cheap. Also for you hotshot truckers out there, um, I don't know if everyone does this, but I talk to a lot of hotshot truckers that uh, get hotels uh, multiple times a week. Um, you don't have to go get a hotel multiple times a week. Um, just sleep in your truck. Sometimes you just gotta go, uh, how I like to think in my mind is like, you got to go get in the trenches and you got to be able to get dirty and you got to be able to suck it up and sacrifice. So I know you guys uh, might, you know, get a little bit restless uh, sleeping in your dually truck because, of course, it's not a big sleeper like a semi truck. But, hey, if you guys are about that money out there, trust me, 
you will sleep in that passenger seat, front seat, or in that back seat of that dually truck throughout the week. Then go get your hotel like on a Saturday or something to stretch your legs out. And then come back out on Monday and just go get that money because if you're paying $60, $70, $100 every time you're uh, booking hotel rooms throughout the week, if you're booking two, three hotel rooms a week, now you're at $250, you know, just on hotels and if you're out there trucking for four weeks straight, hey, that's a thousand dollars that you're paying on hotels that could be in your pocket, that you could be reinvesting into your company or into other areas out here. So, hey, like I always tell you guys, learn as much as you can um, and do everything on your own. If you can, only pay for a service if it's convenient for you at the time. But know how to uh, actually um, dispatch yourself know how to run your own company you know whether it's going to go get your own authority I don't care what it is out here just learn the actual uh, process and learn the actual operational side of your own company and trust me you guys will start seeing more profit you know you got to figure out ways to start cutting people out of your pocket so um, like I say when it comes to these truckers out here failing uh, you guys could easily step it up and start seeing more of your actual uh, profit at the end of the month and at the end of, end of the weeks but you have to start figuring out ways to cut people out of your pocket but the main thing you have to do is start getting that dollar per mile up that is a must like I say for me I could go out and I could get three dollars a mile for a 200 mile run and make a quick six hundred dollars you know well that's how much it'll pay me but after fuel and all of that i mean i still will see oh, about five hundred dollars of it but that's fine for me because that's only one load and it only takes a couple of hours maybe three hours max for me and then i'll find something to bring me back home so for me i don't care about uh making over a thousand dollars every time I run a load because like I say that's not my primary uh, source of income so I could go out and make me a quick five six hundred dollars in a day and I'm all right but a lot of you guys out there who uh, use this as your primary source of income you guys got to start getting about a thousand dollars plus a day and you guys got to start hitting five thousand dollars plus a week in revenue and that's the way you're going to start maximizing your profit out there. That's the way you're going to start making more money. And trust me, start learning how to do everything within your own company out there, man. Hey, and trust me, right now, I know that the freight is moving slow. But like I always tell you guys, it's only a moment. You know, it's only, it's just a moment at the time. You know, freight rates will go back up. Uh, more freight will start uh, being produced for you guys out there to start hauling so one thing for sure is that if you're a business owner you always have to uh, plan and prepare yourself for you know hard times like this so that's why I always tell you guys figure out a way to create multiple streams of income uh, never rely on one thing you know never rely on one thing always have multiple uh, streams of income also have multiple ways of uh, always making money out here man so I just want to drop this quick video on you guys out there when it comes to uh, why I believe a lot of truckers are failing it's not uh, uh, a whole lot that goes into it it's very uh, it's a, it's only a couple of things that I see that you guys could uh, do right now to kind of uh, turn your business from a, a negative account to a positive account so like I say um, learn everything you know in your business stop paying people to do everything for you also get that dollar per mile up that's the key thing right there get it up and trust me you guys will start making money out there hey like i said at the beginning i appreciate each and every one of you out there hey everybody hey go follow me on instagram at manny's movement click the link below hey go follow me on facebook manny's movement is my facebook business page also, go visit my website, www.extraordinarymovement.com. If you guys have any questions, send me an email at broker at CEO 
commit, execute, and be obsessed. Everybody be great out there.